Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're going to take a unlocking the Coltorins. This video assumes that you've already done the prerequisite achievements with the Ready for War, Tides of Vengeance, and then the storyline for the Coltorus. Hopefully this video will be helpful and enjoyable. If it is, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is come to the Stormwind Embassy and talk to Asa Cloudsinger to get the quest Maiden Kultoris. Then we're going to head towards the Mage Quarter and use the Teleport. Alright, so once you're in the Mage Quarters, you will go to the Borealis, Borealis, however you say it, Borealis portal and click on it. All right, and from there, we're going to head straight out. Hook the first right, then the first left. And I'm going to come down to here. I'm going to talk to him. You don't have to accept that quest. It just gave it to me. But we need to click on, I am told you know where to find the shipwright, Dorian Atwater. Okay, so we click on that. And then that goes to completion state after a moment he'll have the turn in for it and then we get the quest to master shipwright we're gonna talk to lady Proudmore, take the letter and then we need to meet cyrus crestfall in brenadam all right and brenadam is here in stormsong once we arrive uh if you go the way i did via flight master the harbor master will be right here. We just turn that in, and then we learn about Dorian's location. So from here, we've got to go around the circle, start talking to the people who are glowy. We'll just talk to every glowy person until they spill the beans. Right, and after turning or talking to eight citizens, the citizen right here told me uh, what to do. I don't know if that's random or if you can go to him directly. Let me know in the comments. But then we go to turn in the quest, which is going to be inside of this house. We're going to talk to him again. And then we get the quest home, home on the range. All right, and so that will take you to the dead wash at Atwater Stead, right here. We're gonna talk to old Atwater. Okay, so then we go in the house. And then we'll go through some story here. We then turn the quest into her. And then we've got a saddle hurricane. So we come here and we click the saddle. He doesn't like us. Oh, uh, and he's gonna run away from us. And we try again. All right. After a moment, you will have the saddle on. She will come out and take the horse and walk down the road. We've got to go meet her down here. All right, once we arrive in Tide Cross, we find her here. Just click on her and get the next quest. The deep ones and covering our masts. All right, for the deep ones, we have to kill these aberrations. Careful, there are elites here if you're alone. But essentially, we'll just go through here and kill 12 of them for fog ward we need to find these locations and click on them another one is located here in the middle and the last one is located on this side of the dock 
All right, so after we complete both of those, we're gonna make our way back to her at the same location, turn those in, and then we get the quest framework. All right, for framework, we need to make our way to Hathertown, or Hatherford, rather, and we need to go into this building right here. Turn the quest into her. Get the quest Heavy Lumber Collected. For that, we're gonna go outside, and we're going to go to these big lumber piles here, and click on them. And that'll get the people to pick it up. We've got to do that with four piles. After you get about three piles, you'll be kind of tugged down like so. Then you collect the fourth pile, and it's gonna it's gonna be a slow trip. What you'll want to do if you get attacked, click that call for help. She'll pretty much destroy them. And then you can also call for healing if you need it. Alright, so after a little while of following her and surviving the ambushes, you'll be to this cart location. Get a little bit of story, click on her, turn in the quest, pick up the quest, the bleak hills, and the lumber is haunted. Alright, for the bleak hills, we want to make our way to Drustavar. The Watchmen's Rise. I'm going to come over here and talk to Chelsea Wright. Well, yeah, there we go. Okay, then we're gonna get the quest drop it. For that, I'm going to come over here. And come here. I have to follow. Come on, drop it. Looks like we're gonna follow him quite a bit. Oh, the pesky creature. Come on, drop it. Really feel like I'm chasing a dog that stole my keys or something. I don't know. Alright, so you'll finally make your way to this cave here. We'll drop the keys, pick it up, turn in the quest from him, and then you get her dog days are over. And apparently we've got to collect things for this dog. Right, the first thing that we run into is the collar, which is straight down by this mine entrance here. And if we go down here, well, that spider's gonna get me. Yep, here it comes. We get the bone. Okay, and the last piece we will need is going to be in this house. Down the stairs is a little murloc plushie. Oh, I guess it's a squeaky toy. Okay, so now we've got that completed. We can run down here and turn that quest in to Chelsea. Okay, then she wants us to collect the ore here. And now we move on to the Lumber is Haunted, which is also in Drustvar. Alright, so the next location in Drustvar is over here. We need to talk to Birchgrove, get the quest the dressed vessel filled. For that, we need to go around killing. You can also click on these stones. And as you see up here, there's a bar. We have to fill that bar up to 100%. Once we have that bar filled, go back to Birchgrove, turn in the quest, and get speaking to Ulfar. We're gonna come and click on him. 
Uh, you may need to not be mounted. Okay. Then you click on this mossy druid and go for a ride. All right, after a long ride here at Ulfar's Cave, we come down here. Talk to him. Quest, tell me how I can help. Wait for a little bit of RP. And then he'll tell you to begin the ritual, which we do by clicking on so. We'll get some of these dressed manifestations that pop out during the ritual. We just have to slay them. Okay, so it turns out you don't actually have to kill them. You just have to survive for a, a moment. And if you're a rogue, you can vanish. Once the ritual's done, you'll talk to him, complete the quest. After you turn in the quest to him, you pick up the quest from Bound Sky, which tells you to return to Dorian Atwater and Port Fogtide. Alright, once we land back at Tidecross, we need to go back to Dorian. It's located over here at the dock. I'm going to click on her. Nope, nope, give me this quest. Oh, get the quest from Jaina, who's gonna have us go to Tandrid Proudmoor. Alright, so we're gonna head to the Jademoor area, or Proudmoor area rather, and talk to Tandrid. for that to go and now we've got to go recruit brother pike lieutenant terran forward and the outriggers all right so the first recruit is going to be at the harbor brother pike click on him that is right here all right the next location is in vigil hill or hill located right here next to the flight master we click on him and then we'll go back to the flight master and head to our third location our third recruit is at the outrigger station also right near the flight master we need to talk to rosaline okay now we've got to recruit boatswain we're going to head back to the Flight Master and to our next location at Tidecross. Once we arrive at Tidecross, we need to run here, talk to Dorian, and then turn in the quest to gain a proud word. Then we talk to Jaina to pick up the next quest. Okay, after a little bit of time and them arguing about the name, we then get to choose the name. Uh, I suppose you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to go with the Lionheart. Sure. We need to bless the tides, or blessing of the tides, which bless the vessel. So we click on the vessel. Which is a really tiny warship. Now suddenly it's huge. So we'll talk to Lady Jaina and set sail to Stormwind Harbor. Alright, once the zone loads, we'll run down here and talk to Anduin. We turn that in and congratulations. We've now unlocked the Cold Tyrion should give us a new mount, the Cold Tyrion Charger. Let's take a look at that. Cold Tyrion Charger. Looks pretty. And there it is here. Pretty nifty looking. And of course, to create your new Kul'Tyrion, you'll want to go to the character selection screen. 
Okay, from here, create new character and select your cool tier in. They can be warrior, hunter, mage, rogue, priest, druid, shaman, and monk. Which are you going to choose? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.